What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So after a weekend of use, we have a lot of opinions on this new Moto Razor Plus, uh, and it's awesome. The way they've implemented really this cover display to take advantage of everything you can normally do on the inside of the phone, externally, it saves power, it is much more convenient, and like one of their executives said that we talked about in our prior unboxing video, what's the point of having a flip phone when you have to open it all the time? Why not just get a candy bar phone? I think this mentality and what they did to actually utilize this front cover display and have basically all of your options right here is what's gonna make this phone a hit. I think the price point is very fair. I know it's $1,000, but considering what's rumored for the next Samsung Fold, um, this could be its saving grace. Fold's rumored to get about $150 price increase. Obviously that's all rumors, we don't know yet. But even still in its current form, what you can get value-wise with this Razer is amazing. Let's jump in, take another deeper dive, and talk a little bit more about it. So first things first, a couple call-outs in regards to this. By no means is the primary 6.9 inch display super bright. In direct sunlight, it does not have enough nits to truly give it a good pop if you're looking directly into it. If you twist it and it's off angle and you're covered, it looks fine. You can still utilize it in direct sunlight, but in relation to some of the other top tier devices right now, S22 Ultra, iPhone series, any of that stuff, it is a harder sell just because of the POLED display. It does not allow a lot of that brightness to creep in. Now, having said that, one great thing that's been a pleasant surprise, and again, I'm gonna utilize showing you guys on this cover display, that battery life, how they implemented you being able to actually check it and see your health right there is awesome. The battery life on this baby, no issues. And I've been playing a lot of games with the cover closed though. So obviously if you're gonna drain it on the larger screen, it's gonna take a bigger hit, but battery life has been substantially better than a lot of foldables I've used. And in times I've needed to charge, haven't utilized wireless charging. Five watts is just kind of there for marketing material, I think. Still good to have. But the 30 watts that it does charge at when wired is phenomenal for this battery. It charges very quickly. If you need a quick top off, you're not going to have any issues with it on that front. The processor is a little outdated. It is an 8 Plus Gen 1. Still a good processor. Flagship tier, as we saw last year. Um, but I have seen a couple hiccups, specifically in gaming. It drops frame rates. Um, which is kind of weird, especially on the cover display. So not all, you know, roses here necessarily, but it does still work very well. That's the only time I've seen it when scrolling through apps and utilizing the camera. I haven't seen that much at all. Again, we have touched on this in our unboxing. The camera itself is not a good selling point on this baby, unfortunately. Neither, neither of these lenses are the best that there are out there. It actually surprisingly takes better pictures at night than you would assume but there's just such a lack of contrast if that's what you like utilizing uh, your pictures for and you like that pop, it's just not here, even in direct sunlight. So take that for what you want, but as a primary shooter, I probably wouldn't think this is gonna be your best friend, unfortunately. Volume, picture quality, everything else sounds good. A lot of things and a lot of times it goes unnoticed, but the actual cell reception is better than my iPhone 14 Plus Pro Max, literally side by side in the same area. Um, this still pulls in a little better strength. This is nothing new to the Moto Razr uh, Plus because um, Android phones do technically have the superb radio, but still a call out nonetheless. As far as the OS, the skin that Motorola puts on this now, very nice, light. You can obviously just change it if you want with the launcher and they do allow a lot of regular customizing as is without that. So just another call out for you guys, but overall, lots of praise, great, great, great phone. I'm sure you're going to find it on sale here soon enough. We actually picked it up for $8.99 instead of the regular $9.99 price from Best Buy. It's still on sale there for that right now if you wanted to pick it up. So I'll throw a couple of affiliate links down below for Amazon and Best Buy. Definitely appreciate it if you utilize those. Uh, it supports the channel very much. Aside from that, let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. We're going to keep doing our hands-on. Our SIM card is going to go back in this phone here shortly. we got a lot coming up on the channel for the Pixel Fold this week. So let us know what you want to see. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.